Hello guys, welcome in the next movie. In this movie I will show you how to refurbish old battery from e-bike. This battery is used in the Momas F2 fat bike. So this model has, I don't know if you can see it, around 400 uh, watt hours uh, capacity. So I'll disassemble the original cells and I will install the new ones, Samsung 35. You see it? Yeah. So this will increase the capacity around 70%. Comparing to the old cells. Stay with me and watch this movie to the end. Alright, here you can see the interiors of the battery. Here is the box. You can see all the connectors to this charge level indicator and uh, charging port, so on. Here is the main body of the battery. It comes with uh, 50 cells. Samsung Type 22F. I remember. Yeah, when I take off the tape, you can see it better. Here is the BMS. Oh. With the fuse. Is quite well there. Normally, I don't see these fuses. Uh, and here is the discharge port. So, what I will be doing, I will main keep this original BMS. I will just remove all these cells and then I will weld them together. Solder this uh, balancing cables in the right places uh, and put everything back to the box. I started taking apart uh, the cells from this battery so you can see the balancing cables and solder it from the cells. Already disconnected one group of cells. Here we can see the process of taking out another group. So I'm going step by step each group individually. It's important to not uh, make uh, any short circuit between these groups. At least at this stage when both sides are connected. Because you have like you know high voltage between uh, the cells. So once one side that is disconnected, then I can take some more liberty uh, or safety precautions, I could say. Uh, because if you make a short circuit on the other side, when this one is disconnected, then won't, there won't be any spark. Uh, but it may happen in this one. So that's what is important to remember. You can see disconnected cells. Here is this upper bracket just sitting here. Here is the original BMS. Good quality as I see. Good that I can reuse it. Here you can see the new cells, Samsung's 35 type. Uh, so I'll use 50 of them. Four will be remaining. Okay, so I just need to take out uh, these uh, cells and put uh, this uh, Samsung in the same order as this one. I have installed all cells in the correct position, as you can see. Temperature sensor going to BMS is secured in place. So now I can start preparing these uh, zinc uh, strips to be 
Well, that would be so. I'll take my sol soldering welding gun. I will start welding these steps, plus and minuses. You can see the battery with uh, welded uh, strips. I use this new spot welder. I don't remember the price I bought this on Amazon, I think for 1000 Norwegian crowns. Quite good, works well with thin plates. But I doubt it will be good for anything uh, thicker than uh, 0.1 millimeter thickness. Yes, you can see both sides. So, yeah, now we just need to go the captain tape to secure this pose, and then I can start soldering uh, balancing cables. You can see uh, balancing cables soldered in place and connected to BMS. Looks like in original. Here is the view on both sides. So I check the voltage, it's showing around 35 volts on this charge terminal. This is okay. So I just need to put it in the box now and do final check. Okay, guys, you can see battery is completed. I connected the uh, charger to do some test charging. Cells were pretty much uh, depleted actually. It was like a storage. Uh, Voltage for three and a half volt. So as you can see, this uh, charge level indicator shows that it's like half full. So now I'm charging this to 42 volts. It will be ready for use. All right. So that's all from my side. I hope this film was interesting for you. Take care and see you in the next movie. Bye bye!